is here. I finally got my box. This is a box that Art Philosophy sent me. It's full of their supplies and they sent it to me as part as their ambassador program. I made the team, so that's great. I actually manifested opening this box in my hallway over there so many times as I was participating in the call. It's just crazy because here it is. I'm happy to say that we get to enjoy this experience together because my kids are not here today. Actually, only the baby's here, but she's sleeping right now. So um, I really wanted to wait until I opened it. I got this box yesterday, but I wanted to wait. What I'm gonna do is open the box, obviously, check out all the contents with you pretty briefly, and then I'll be swatching everything. So because the video might be a little bit long, what I'm gonna do is split it into two or three videos where I'm gonna swatch everything that I got, and I'm gonna put timestamps in my descriptions so that you can go and find what you want. You don't have to like watch the whole video. Okay, so here we go. I'm kind of nervous. Okay, well, I don't know where to start. There are so many things. Uh, those are the tubes. I actually never tried those tubes and I wanted to try them so bad. The only place I found them at was their site actually. I didn't find any in Europe. So I never tried them and I've been wanting to for so long because just like I'm seeing here, those are popular colors. This is indigo. Yeah, they have like pretty common colors here for the tubes. And yeah, that's pretty convenient to make any kind of painting that you want. And I've heard great stuff about them. So I just can't wait to try them. Let's see. So we got indigo. I got um, greenish yellow. Crimson. Uh, I've got Persian blue. Permanent red. I have a hard time processing all that. As I'm looking at all that stuff, it's just so many things. And filming the video at the same time and trying to think of what I'm gonna say is just weird. Um, okay, so that's cobalt blue hue. That's yellow ochre. Awesome. Uh, that is Hooker's Green, popular colors as you can see. So yeah, that's going to be very convenient to make any kind of painting that you want. Permanent Brown, they have all the main colors in there. Uh, that's Permanent Yellow Deep. Wow, there are a lot more tubes, I'm impressed. Okay, that's Lemon Yellow. We have Viridian Hue, I cannot pronounce it right. Uh, here is permanent yellow orange, just a bunch of great colors, all the basic colors. That's rose matter. Uh, ivory black, I always use black to darken a lot of things in my paintings. Burnt umber, it's a very classic color, very basic, that's great. Um, I have another pink here, so this one is opera, very good. Uh, this blue is ultramarine deep. Um, very happy to have that. All right, so I think I'm done with the tubes, looks like. Oh, wow, okay, that I'm very happy about because I love to try a bunch of different mediums, even though I do a lot of watercolor on this channel. I like to try all the mediums and uh, oil pastels. I've never really tried anything with oil pastels, actually. I know about soft pastels, but oil pastels, I've never really tried to use them. And I see those are water soluble, which would be very interesting. I can't wait to try that. And those are the basics. Okay, so now I see we have another one here. This one is uh, rustic. Hmm, interesting. Those are oil pastels and they look different. Maybe they're not water soluble, it doesn't say it. So yeah, I think they're not water soluble. Wow, I'm gonna open all that stuff afterwards. And now I see my beloved concentrated watercolors. I love them. I've um, painted so many vibrant paintings with the ones that I have. I actually don't have any pinks, so that's great. I have candy here. This is, I can see, uh, bright pink looks like. Uh, 
what else? Oh, this one I think I have, yeah, squash. Uh, this is cafe, never tried this one. Uh, that is Bora, I haven't tried this one. And this is fire brick, don't have it either. And they're great, like they're so vibrant. Ginger, they're easy to use too. I had never used them prior to Art Philosophy. And it wasn't that hard. It's just as if you had already mixed water to your colors in a pan or a tube. So it's just, except that they're a little bit more concentrated, but it's about the same. Um, Onyx, yeah, I have that one. It's very convenient. Like I said, I like to use black to darken a color if I need to. Uh, here is tangerine. I have that one. Orange red. Never tried this one. Uh, that's wood. I know that color. It's great. I made a lot of uh, tree paintings and forest paintings with it. That's clarity. Blues. I haven't tried blues. Uh, sea green. I have this one for foliage. Um, now we have another blue truth. This one I probably already tried. Which one is it? I can't see. It's, uh, oh yeah, tree. Um, we have mystic. It's a beautiful color, apparently. Uh, marigold, I don't have that one. It looks like a really cool color. Okay, it's starting, all that stuff is starting to pile up next to me on the table. It's just really nuts. Mushroom, I know that color. It, I also use it for trees and anything forests, sceneries, blues, Asia, and I don't know how to pronounce this one, so I'm not gonna try it. Asian, no. Um, <laughs> I don't know, that's Diva. I love purples. I didn't get purple that one time I ordered um, concentrated watercolors because I wanted to make trees and forest paintings. So I just narrowed it down to the greens and some browns and the black. Uh, here is one that I think I know and I can't see what it says. Emerald. Uh, this is moss. This is honey. Now I figured out that the name is there too. It's easier. Uh, that's vacation. Oh wow, that's a beautiful color, rose. I'm a girly girl, so I kind of love pink tones. Um, peacock, look at all that, there's more. Uh, denim. We have Rust. Uh, Lucky, I know those ones. And Taxi. That's a lot of concentrated colors. Okay, now all the confections. Oh, wait, all the confections and more actually. What is that? This is a paper pad. I've never tried the Art Philosophy paper pads or paper. So yeah, that's going to be interesting. I cannot wait to try them to see. Small paper pads, pretty cool to test things. Uh, and I see I have bigger ones there. Should I just go for the paper pads first, maybe? And for the confections last? Oh, wait. I'm just gonna do a look at the confections. Uh, all right, so this is Tropicals. I've heard of it. One of my friends actually paints with that one. And now we have Essence. And Essence is actually one of those sets that I have and that I use a lot. I painted a lot of things with Essence. Actually one of my best performing videos here on this channel. Right now it's like 35,000 views, which is crazy for such a small channel. Well, this one was painted with the Essence set. It's a lamp post and people have told me that the colors were great. So I think we can give the Essence set some credit for that. Uh, now we have the pastel dreams, pastel dreams. I love pastels. I actually have the other pastel palette. Uh, this one I haven't tried. It looks gorgeous. The colors look really nice. So we can't wait to swatch all of these. Now we have the currants and I love that because right, um, 
lately I've been painting a lot of seascapes and I was hoping for the currents to come sometime this summer in this box so I'm happy because I'm going to be able to test that on more seascapes uh, here the woodland I've seen a lot of people use that one so I'm kind of curious about it too I've got the decadent pies okay the decadent pies I had my eyes on I was hesitating between that and uh, the pastel set that I got last time so I think this one I'm going to love here is the classics that's always going to be good to paint anything so yeah one of those sets I'm probably going to be using a lot this oh the shimmering lights very interesting I'm very curious about that one I think that it would look gorgeous in black paper I just can't wait to try it watercolor confections odyssey 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 okay odyssey 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 i don't know <laughs> how do you pronounce that anyways great gotta try it here terrain i've heard of that one too looks like it could be good for fall maybe fall scenes autumn hmm interesting uh, oh here the complexion you know that i do portraits too i love portraits so this is going to be one of the first ones that i try i think uh, and this one vintage pastels is the one that i have and that i've produced a lot of paintings with if you want to check them out too and get an idea of what you can do with that you can head to my instagram page the link is in the description and there you'll see there's a lot of uh, paintings using the pastel vintage pastels and now paper look at these pads are huge wow huge and heavy too watercolor paper pad uh, what else does it say it's acid free it doesn't say cotton, so I suppose it's um, wood pulp paper. Gotta try it and see. Because I always use a lot of 100% uh, cotton paper in my paintings. And I do use the other type for hair painting and stuff like that. And once I try it, I'll be able to tell you what you can do with it. Right now, I have to admit that I have no idea because never tried. As an ambassador, I also get to give you a code that you can use on their website when you check out. You just enter that code and get 15% off. So my code is BLYACFINEART15%. I'm going to put it in the description for you to check out. And just so you know, every time you use my code when you purchase on their website, I get a commission. So that's a great way to support.